Hello everyone, this is your host, Joe, and what you're looking at right now, it's my new Backman Jupiter. A beautiful locomotive, I love it. Now, if you remember, it was my plan to put the DeLorean here with a 460 locomotive, you know, for the movie references. But I think you get it. It works just as well as any other old-time steamer. And the best part is that you can run them. Yeah, that's one of the locomotive's flaws. You know, since this engine is small, the motor is a bit underpowered, and the pickups don't have a lot of reach. So it sometimes stalls at some point, but if you make it go backwards a bit, then go forwards, full power, it goes smoothly. Yeah, what a beauty to, to behold. Now, let me introduce to you this gentleman right here. His name is Sir Julius Aliapsky, the railroad superintendent. Uh, his job, well, is like Sir Tom Hat. It makes sure things don't go wrong and manage all the railroad operations. Any other than that, he's just a chill guy. Now back with the main topic, trains. I think this is a very nice addition to my roster of locomotives, which just so happens to be Daylight and the Pennsylvania S1, if, if I could run it, run it on my tracks. Well, that doesn't matter because we have a new train here. I really like it, uh, although it's yeah not the finest of them all or the biggest or the fastest, the most powerful, I would say it's uh, the most eye-catching of them all. All types, steam locomotive, beautiful colors, Victorian design, such beautiful and important history. You see, because this locomotive was in the Golden Spike event um, Transcontinental Railroad Union as you can see in the photo so this little train right here has some history and I think we should be really appreciative by that unfortunately the original wasn't saved it was scrapped but there's a replica you can find at the Golden Spike Monument in Utah United States now the locomotive itself uh, I think that it will have some importance. I I have a plan. I, I have an idea of making a movie, a short film to be exact. I know there are similar stories like the little engine that could or the braille locomotive. Beautiful, go watch it. It's just so, I love it. Uh, but uh, I would say it's it would be nice to make my own story with my own trains. Um, do some shenanigans along the way and well this is not a fair review of the train because I, it wasn't intended to be one but if you want to see more of this little fella stay tuned for more content of my trains on the CRNT railway thank you for watching we, hopefully we will meet again soon very soon goodbye